Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, my little explorers. How are you today? Listen, today we're going to learn and explore new things. That's why I want you to be ready to learn. You know what? I like science. Science is amazing. If you study science, you can learn about nature, about landscapes, landforms, but is water um what else weathering erosion and a lot of things right and today we're gonna learn something new okay so i want you to be ready but before let's read the day and date so in the english class and as well as in the math class we said today is wednesday and the date is may 19 2020 so everyone in the previous lessons we have talked about two slow changes two slow changes what are they fast changes and slow changes yeah but we talked about slow changes what are they weathering and erosion excellent weathering and erosion what is weathering Weathering is when wind or water breaks small pieces of rocks. Small, no, break rocks into smaller pieces. Weathering, when the water or wind break the rocks into smaller pieces. And what about erosion? Erosion is when water and wind take small pieces of rock and sand from one place to another yeah when the wind or water carry let's say carry the sand the small pieces of sand and rocks and take them from place to another these changes we call them slow changes slow changes because it uh, takes long years as people can see or notice them and today we're going to talk about fast changes fast changes here in the picture we can see some of them and today we're going to talk about earthquakes thank you for helping and now let's read the objectives of today so by the end of the lesson I can identify the quick changes in Earth's surface. I can make observations and construct explanations for changes to Earth's landscape. Thank you for helping. Okay, and here we go. There is a video. I want you to watch the video. And when you come back, we're going to talk about the fast changes. Okay, everyone, now I want you to uh, get your uh, science book and open page uh, 30. Write the date and day before you start. Look at the picture, everyone, and tell me what do you see. I'm going to give you some time. Brainstorm and try to tell me what do you see. So what do you see, everyone? I can see a crack on the floor on the ground let's say okay and what happened to the land what do you think about it what happened to the land i think an earthquake has occurred earthquake excellent the name of this change is earthquake quick means fast fast something fast happened to the earth okay and the result is the crack over here okay and now here is a short video about earthquakes i wanted to watch the video to understand more what does the word earthquakes mean okay so let's watch the video nature works in mysterious ways along with providing us the best environment to live in it also provides some calamities hmm Turn on your laptop and browse a few newspapers. There's always something destructive happening somewhere because of nature. So everyone, this is an earthquake.
quick as you can see the building are falling and and the ground will be cracked let's watch there's sheer power for instance such natural occurrences are tornadoes hurricanes wildfires flooding volcanic eruptions and earthquakes these natural devastations are generally not caused directly by humans but their reactions or after effects live with us for a very long time span. In this video, we'll study about one of these natural destructive occurrences, earthquakes. Imagine that you're studying in a classroom and suddenly the floor begins to shake. Oh, books and other things fall off of the desk. Yeah, and the earthquake will cause some shaking the land will be shaking and you might be thrown from your seat that's what happens when an earthquake occurs earthquakes are the shaking rolling or sudden shock on the earth's surface more than a million earthquakes harm the world each and every year the west coast is most earthquake prone but earthquakes can happen in the midwest and also along the east coast Look closely and see how it happens. The surface of our Earth is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's not a single piece of land, but around 20 pieces of a puzzle that slowly move. Each one of these puzzle pieces are known as tectonic plates. Whenever those plates bump, smash, or slide past another plate, an earthquake happens. The surface where these plates slip is known as a fault. Ah. Looks like you're getting scared. Don't worry, most of the time the quakes are so small that we don't even feel them. Sometimes they're so strong that it can be felt over a thousand miles away. Earthquakes are of many types. They can be felt as a shot under your feet or may be very powerful and destructive enough to destroy an entire city. The plate where the earthquakes originate is known as the hypocenter. The plate where it occurs on the Earth's surface is known as the epicenter. Let's learn about the types of earthquakes. Earthquakes can be classified in three main forms, depending on the plate movements that occur under the Earth's surface. First one is convergent boundary. In this, one plate is forced over another plate during the movement, and thus creating a thrust okay thank you everyone so let's stop over here okay so we um got an idea now about the earthquakes and now let's continue the lesson okay so everyone we have an idea now about why the uh the ground is cracked and this is because of the earthquake thank you Okay, so everyone, most earthquakes last only for 10 to 30 seconds, but sometimes it's, it's dangerous and it may destroy the buildings and, you know, a lot of things on the earth surface. So everyone, how can, let's read the question together, I need your help. Okay, how can earth landscape change natural disasters events that cause quick changes in earth's landscape like earthquakes floods fires hurricanes hurricanes, hurricanes volcanoes and tornadoes so everyone these or we can call these changes quick changes that happen every day and everywhere Look at the pictures, as you can see the fire, the tornado, the flood, the earthquake, okay? And most of them are, or all of them, let's say, are dangerous. Task number one, so what you're going to do is to, um, let's say, underline the process that can use or can cause very quick changes to the surface of the earth, okay? So which things can cause very quick changes to the surface of the earth volcano volcanoes earthquakes and floods and floods okay excellent so volcanoes 
uh, floods and landslides. Landslides and earthquake. Okay, this we call them. You forgot this one. So we call these fast changes. changes. While weathering and erosion are slow changes. Are slow changes. Task number two: Classify the following changes in the surface of the or in the Earth's landscape into quick and slow. Okay, quick. You're gonna write one. Slow. You're gonna write two. So erosion. Erosion, two. Two because it's slow. Earthquake, one. One because it's quick. Weathering, two. Two because it's slow. slow. Volcano, one because it's fast. Let's check your answers. All of them are correct. Wow. And here we go. The last thing that we're going to do for today. Complete the following sentence by writing the missing words. There are many changes that can happen to the surface of the earth. Some of them are and some of them are slow. Slow. Like can you give me some examples? Yes, like weathering and erosion and deposition. Okay, and some of them are fast or quick. Let's say quick. Give me some examples. Quick changes. For good changes, we have earthquakes, tornadoes, and volcanoes. Okay, so here let's write slow. And here let's write quick. Okay, so remember. So everyone, remember slow changes are weathering and erosion. Weathering is when the wind and the water break the rocks into smaller pieces and erosion when the wind and water take these uh, small pieces of rocks into another place or carry them into another place quick changes we said volcanoes, uh, volcanoes earthquakes and tornadoes fires and today i explain to you what does the word earthquake mean so we're gonna talk more in the last oh sorry in the in the next lesson about the fast changes so have a great day bye everyone see you tomorrow i love you